hello, uh, welcome everybody to another World of Warships Legends video with your host. That's me, Phoenix Six One. Let's have some. Let's have some fun. Let's let's do some shenanigans, right? So we are in the Amato, and of course, the first thing that most of us tend to look at is um, you know what we're up against as far as um, how many destroyers, cruisers, and battleships there are, and we get the um, sad face because we see a lot of destroyers, right? <laughs> So, um, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're going to wing it here, right? So I'm always sort of, you know, especially in Yamato here with middle spawn on this side, it's always a little bit of a challenge on what the hell I think I should do or what I want to do or what I'm in the mood for, right? So what the best thing to do here is, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just, we'll see what happens, right? So it really is kind of important to see some spotting happening, right? Which, you know... And, you know, you could argue, like, this was probably the right move to take, go off to the right over here, because as you can see, we get our first shot off and we don't get spotted, right? We put some land between us and the enemy side. Um, so we're able to get a shot off at the Yamato and miss all of our bullets, right? So good job us, right? He did, it does look like he turned in a little bit there once he, um, once he realized he got spotted, right? Which was the smart thing to do. We just... I didn't anticipate that he would actually do that, so we missed, right? So, uh, but yeah, we're not going to be able to hit him for a little bit here. Um, and then here is a Shimikaze that shows up. Um, ideally, if you can hit that destroyer, you shoot that destroyer, right? Get those guys off, you know, out of the game as early as possible if you can. Um, of course, he goes dark before we have any sort of angle on him. Really, our only bet here is this Yamato. Hopefully, there's something else back there, right? But we are really going to be relying on our allied destroyers to start picking stuff up for us, right? So we get spotted here, and we'll make that call out, right? So I'm going to guess there's maybe a destroyer or possibly that Shimikaze that was over there before um, that picked us up. And it was probably the Shimikaze because he just got killed, and then we went unspotted, right? So, um, but yeah, we're going to... And then we get picked up again, right? Which is, you know, uh, dang it, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I was trying to get myself angled away from the um, the Yamato on their team, right? And then we we do go unspotted, um, so we'll be able to get a free shot off at the Schlieffen. And then we do get picked up from firing our guns, and we get the rare Citadel hit on the German battleship. So that got me all excited, right? So our first real hit of the game, and that puts us up at thirty thousand damage, right? So that's always nice. And then of course he's got a secondary battery build, right? We take a bad hit from somebody, probably the Yamato. Um, that we originally fired at in the beginning. And we'll continue to try and pump shells into the Schlieffen here, right? So we are like in a little bit of a situation because we've only got our one destroyer that came out to this side, right? So we're gonna move away. We're gonna kind of play a little bit on the defense, right? We know there's two other battleships on the enemy team that can probably hit us, um, you know, depending on where they're at in relation to the, you know, the mountains. Yeah, there's that. Um, Yamato, he can probably shoot over, right? So we'll turn in here to try and get all the turrets off on this Schlieffen as he goes behind the little chunk of land here, right? We get four overpens, so, you know, not as much as you'd like to see, right? But it does look like he gets stuck there, or at least slowed down. Kind of hoping he got stuck and would have to back up, because then we'd be able to shoot him some more, but that does not appear to be the case. Um, but yeah, since, since we took some bad hits there, we're kind of being uh, a little bit defensive here, right? We've already used a heal. I've only got two in this with this loadout, um, and we're we're down to, to half health, right? So we're being cautious, um, and then we're going to see this cruiser get spotted, and we've got a Lepanto that seems to be coming in pretty hot, right? Well, it's a Crone stat. It's always hard to get good damage numbers against them. You could make the argument I probably shouldn't be so broadside to this Lepanto, but... A lot of times those guys have, um, you know, they're doing secondary builds with those. That's how I have my Lepanto built out, right? So um, accuracy is not the greatest um, with the Italian battleships to start with. And then if he's doing a secondary battery build, right, we're, you know, our concerns are minimal, right? Uh, but our, uh, I would make the argument our destroyer out there is being a little bit too aggressive going right up to a cruiser. Any cruiser really is kind of a bad idea. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, we definitely should have led the Kronstadt more. Um, we should have assumed that he would start moving forward once he got that kill on that destroyer. Um, and instead we shot kind of where he was, and so we literally just missed everything there, right? 
Um, but yeah, so now we're the um, we're the guy to shoot for the enemies, right? So all of these guys are kind of focusing on us. Um, they do we do have a, a friendly destroyer coming in between the uh, you know the island. So yeah, I think the Schlieffen's looking straight ahead. And then I was like, all right, well maybe we could turn away as these guys press in. We'll turn we'll get turned around, get the front turrets on the other side, right? So. We're using the overview camera here, right? Because we're trying to get our turrets on the other side of the boat, right? So um, basically what you do is you aim over to the other side and then you, um, if you go into the overview camera, right? Your turrets stay turning in that direction where you were last aiming, right? So it gives you a little bit of a head start and you're not like struggling to try and like, you know, look different ways while you turn different ways, right? So it just makes life a little easier. But yep, we're able to help finish off the Schlieffen now we're not spotted because Lepanto looks like he's probably got a rolling smoke screen going. Um, but yep, we get picked up again there. So I'm going to guess that's the Kronstadt, the cruiser that's spotting us now. Um, but yeah, our, our um, allies are doing a great job. Our destroyer went in uh, for the, our last remaining destroyer went in for the zone cap, right? Um, but this is, um, we're going to, this is why I saved this game, right? So it wasn't too exciting up to this point, right? We're gonna hopefully get a decent hit on this Lepanto here, because he's damn near broadside to us. But, what's gonna, yep, I mean, you do get a Citadel hit. Four penetrations, heck yes. That is what you like to see. Um, but, but I think it's already happened, I think I didn't realize it, but I think our zone, um, I think I didn't realize it at this point, but I think our zone is also contested at the moment, right? And so, ideally get our destroyer caps their zone but if you notice it's not progressing anymore right so my guess is going to be a uh, yeah we get the citadel hit there on the ground shot finish him off that puts us over 100k um but yeah there's some sort of contesting happening at the enemy base right there's a sliver of capture remaining and we're we didn't win Right, so like, what is happening here, right? And then I think I don't I don't realize it at the same time, but I think their other destroyer is in our base, challenging it or is close to at this time, right? So we can see an enemy destroyer showed up. He gets the full reset on the uh, zone capture for them, and it's like, oh man, we were so close, right? Um, so we'll continue to press forward here now. Um, hopefully this Lepanto keeps moving and we can take him out. But what's going to end up happening is their second destroyer that remains um, is going to end up challenging our zone. And we don't have a good ship to um, help defend right now, right? Ideally, you have a cruiser to challenge the, you know, to challenge the enemy destroyer, right? Because that's sort of the rock, paper, scissors that goes along with that, right? Um, but yeah, we lose our main. And then we get spotted now, and yep, there he is. So the uh, zone is getting captured, and I call it out, but it's like, um, I think this is going to be up to me. <laughs> right? So uh, Lepanto looks like he's backing up, so we're probably not going to get a good shot on him. But what we're doing is we're keeping in the back of our head that whatever destroyer this is, I think it's the Daring. Um, we have to keep in mind that he's definitely looking at us, and definitely lining up torpedoes for us, right? So I'm, I'm assuming he's he's not gonna be dumb and fire his guns and get himself spotted. So we're gonna switch to HE, we've got the time. Lepanto's not gonna let us get a shot off on him. We'll switch to HE so that if we do spot this destroyer, we've got, you know, we've at least got HE loaded because it's a little bit better to shoot a destroyer with HE versus AP, right? Um, so, but yeah, we are the ones that are gonna have to challenge him, right? I, I've seen this like a lot where especially on capture the base where there's an enemy destroyer in there. And it's like, you know, I get what people are thinking when they're the battleship and you're like, I can't go challenge a destroyer. Like I'm a battleship, right? I'm slow moving. I'm going to get torpedoed to death. But like, if you want any sort of chance of winning, like this has to be me. I'm the only one that's close, right? <laughs> so this has to be me. Like other otherwise I just giving up and letting my team lose. Right? So, I'm always going to be like, all right, let's see if we can get the win, right? Because if we do, that'll it'll be a fun, good win, and then, then I'll have had fun, right? But um, so, if you notice, we've been changing course all along our path back into our zone, right? We had enough time to not just have to head directly into it, and since it is the daring, 
he's got you know the uh, British um, destroyers. They've got the single launcher, right? They can they so if you just pointed straight at them, they could switch to that single torpedo launch and just line them all up to hit every single one of them right in your nose and get a dub strike, right? So. We see the smoke screen pop up. Now we kind of have an idea of where he is. We saw those torpedoes we were able to dodge. And since we're unspotted now, we are located, right? So he has a general idea. But since we're unspotted, I turned the other way, right? So, you know, ho hopefully he's getting torpedoes loaded and launched towards us. And he's going to send them off. You know, they'll end up going to the left of us this time, right? Um, he's got sonar, so he's picking us up with sonar. I'm going to wait a few more seconds along this course. Because now that he spots us, I'm going to assume he's sending torpedoes now, you know, after those few seconds of spotting us, and I'm hitting reverse and turning in, right? So the key, I always say the key to dodging torpedoes as a slow-moving battleship is to start dodging them before you see them, right? So I just took those guesses. I made those assumptions. I was like, if I was this guy, what would I do? Okay, picked him up with sonar. Now I know where he is. I'm going to shoot the torpedoes that way, right? So... I waited a few seconds before I changed my course to give him that time to line up torpedoes and shoot towards us, and then I made my course adjustment, right? So we go unspotted again here, so now I'm going to turn back the other way, right, and hope that he makes the same mistakes, right? I'm kind of thinking like, oh man, this is only going to work so many times, right? Like, with this, <laughs> this just won't last forever. But, on the plus side, my team has thus far done a good job of getting rid of the enemy that was over at their base, right? So there's one battleship left, and then there's this one destroyer left, right? And we've got a destroyer with some battleship support, right, capping their zone, right? So it's up to me to at least keep this destroyer from capturing um, our zone long enough so that we win on the, you know, the capture speed. But they do manage to finish off the um, enemy battleship that's over there defending their zone, so now they really don't have a chance. Um, which makes sense why this daring's just like YOLO shooting his guns, right? Like, that's what I would do. And we're also close enough to probably keep him spotted um, regardless, right? Um, so he's gonna go into smoke screen. We're still spotted because we had just fired our guns, right? So you have that quite a bit of a penalty as a battleship. Um, when you fire your guns, they can they can still pick you up, right? But um, I'm not sure why he gets picked up here. Probably he's, yeah, I think he's on the other side of his smoke, right? And so our destroyer can probably see him, would be my guess, right? So we'll see if our secondaries can finish him, and they do. <laughs> and uh, that's it for the game, right? So I think, uh, uh, you know, just this was just a good example of, like, you know, if you do run into the situation where you've got to hunt down a destroyer, here's the strategy, right? <laughs> That does put us in second place. Our Shimikaze did a really great job with 3,500 XP and uh, beat us by over a thousand props to him, right? And then we came out on top with 64,000 silver, right? Always a pleasure to see a positive number on the silver when you're playing legendary. Um, and then, yeah, so this is, um, we'll go through just real, real briefly here how I have the commander set up. I know a few guys, I haven't tweaked this too much um, in, in quite some time. Um, the Celestial Guardian is just a um, commander guys, right? I think this is, who is this, Tanaka that I'm using? It's a, it's not a paid commander, right? So, um, but for the most part, we're going, um, you know, range and accuracy uh, and AP shell focused uh, build here, right? So... Um, we will pick Flammable Cannoneer because you get the extra range and accuracy with that. Um, this uh, drill bits for more AP shell damage. Um, main battery dispersion here. I think you could pick the other one if you wanted to faster reload, but I'm kind of I'm a, I'm usually more of an accuracy kind of you know guy. Whether that's better or not, I can't couldn't tell you, but that's my personal preference, right? Um, but alas, that is our Yamato game for the day. Yes, I only have 298 kills with Yamato because I play as just about everything, guys. I don't, own, I don't have one ship that I play all the time, right? So, <laughs> um, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure you're following the channel. We're putting out videos every day, most of them being World of Warships Legends. Do occasionally get into some other shenanigans on some other games, right? But yeah, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks again.